Oh, hi there, everyone. I'm your girl, Norlene. It's Sunday morning in the kitchen, and I have for you another of Jamaica's finest cuisine. In Jamaica, I did not like any fish served in tomato sauce. And so I thought I would share this unique part of my culture with you. However, I will put my spin on this Jamaican delightful dish. Follow me in the kitchen today as I take you on my cooking journey doing blackjack in tomato sauce. It's black. Jack in tomato sauce. Remember to like my video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video and my channel with your friends. Let them know a food we prepare. Come and get your share. Follow me on Instagram at Wims2020 and like my page on Facebook at walking in my mother's shoe. Remember to leave your comment in the section below. Turn on your post notification bell so as soon as I upload a video, you will be notified. And guys, stay with me to the end of this video. I will share with you a food for thought from the Bible. Come along guys, follow me. And let's do this together. To begin, guys, I will start with my pepper sauce. So I have four thumb-sized pieces of ginger, three scotch bonnet peppers, four large big leaf thyme, and seven cloves of garlic. I will put that in my ninja bullet and I will blend it thoroughly and set it aside. Mmm, guys, if only you could smell this. So moving on to my tomato sauce. So I have four large tomatoes. I have a large red bell pepper and a large onion, and I'm gonna dice it and blend it and put this aside. Now in my frying pan, guys, I have two tablespoons of virginola oil. To that, I'm gonna add one large teaspoon of pepper sauce, and I'm gonna fry this so I can get all the flavors from the pepper sauce into my oil. To that, I will add the tomato sauce. It's about two cups of tomato sauce and I'm stirring this in so I can get the flavors from the onions. I can get the flavors from the tomato and from the pepper sauce and ginger. And this is a bunch of goodness just coming up in my nose. Guys, this is awesome. I add to that half cup of water and cover for my tomato sauce to cook. So guys, now I'm moving on to my fish so i'm greasing the foil i've laid foil in the bottom of my baking tray because i want to avoid a lot of cleaning up so i've put it oil onto the bottom of the foil and then i'm gonna lay the jack on that guys now look on the jack your soil look the flesh is a thick guys and it has the dark to um, brown color in the flesh, guys. I'm going to tell you something about the fish. At first, I'm using the fish. And my fisherman said to me, Mr. Norlin, do not use this until I try it. I'm going to tell you if it's good because sometimes Jack poison. And so I place it, guys, in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 minutes. Now, people look upon the sauce. The tomato sauce is cooking nicely. And I'm stirring it to see if it's cooked to my liking. Now guys, because I have a one kilogram of uh, um, jack, I have to separate this in two parts. So I've separated it and I will keep that for another time. Now my tomato sauce is almost ready guys, but it doesn't have that rich red color. So I am gonna use my tomato paste, about a tablespoon, just to bring up the color. 
and the texture of the sauce to that i'm gonna add two tablespoons of virginola oil one tablespoon of brown sugar and i'm gonna stir that in now guys my fish ready and i'm gonna place my fish in the sauce coat the, the sauce all over coat the fish all over with the sauce guys and allow it to simmer for about five minutes now people it ready and i'm serving it with beans and rice Boy, and yeah. steamed cabbage Boy, and carrot i sure hope that you had enjoyed this afro jamaican inspired meal mm -hmm. jack mm -hmm. mackerel in tomato sauce it's once again this. another favorite from my pot my kitchen there. onto my daughter's table on, i'm yes, sure so guys you enjoyed the time in the kitchen with me remember like share subscribe turn on a post right. notification follow me on facebook and instagram it's another whims 2020 must have must try next time you're in the kitchen thank you guys for coming along with me on my jamaican cooking experience why not next time you're in the kitchen try jack in tomato sauce thank you guys thank you for your love thank you for your support thank you guys for coming along with me on my jamaican cooking experience today's food for thought comes to us from matthew 5 verse 6 Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled.